everybody in part two of the book haul. Um, sorry I can't get this in two parts, but that one was just, I can talk. So um, it's going to be in several, we'll just say that. So for part two, um, here we go. This is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. Okay, and let me tell you something, guys. This is from Book of the Month. It is a great book club, and I will get into that at another time. Um, but this one was one of the choices, so I picked it up. Um, it sounded really good. It's a, um, it's a mystery, and her bestseller was Final Girls, so it sounded really good. I decided to pick, get that one. Um, again, from Book of the Month is The Woman in Cabin 10, which I heard a lot of things. I just finished this one, just did the review, and all I can say is I rated it a three, loved the characters, like straight out of an Agatha Christie novel, but the excitement was lacking into the last 80 pages or so. I mean, it was kind of worth the wait for that excitement because it was really pretty good and, and, and well written, um, but I just, it makes me think about how the whole book could be like that, you know, like that adrenaline rushing, thriller-ish kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I couldn't give it more than the three star because I won't say it was boring because the characters kind of kept it kind of alive, but I think your plot has to be as good as your characters and um, therefore it got a three in rating. It is worth the read um, if you like that kind of a setting with like an Agatha Christie feel, um, yeah, then you then you would probably really enjoy that. This is by Ruth Ware, by the way, and I will read more by her. Um, so it, the, the, the three rating and stuff is still pretty good. It hasn't tainted me from wanting to read anything else by her. So there's that one. Next one we got here is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I, I wasn't sure if I put this in a book haul. Um, it seems like I've had it for a little while longer than that, but I just wanted to include it anyway. I did read this book. I did find that it was good. Again, I think it was a three, maybe a four. I don't remember for sure what I rated it, but I did enjoy the story. I just thought it was kind of lacking a little bit. I just, I don't know. It just meant there could have been more to it than, I just didn't, I don't know. I think it was the way it was written like timeline wise or something or I'm not sure what it was but um, I thought there could have been more to it I did enjoy it so yeah there's that one Land Landline by Rainbow Rowell which is her adult book so the next one I got from Dollar General for $1.50 is The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan I love the Percy Jackson series. I like his writing style. I think it's very fluid and easy to read. So I figured, I, I do have another book that I had already picked up, uh, The Lost Hero. So this one is book five. I think, I believe The Lost Hero was the first one. But they had it there for a dollar fifty because it was half off the three dollars. I picked it up. So it's probably gonna be a series that I am going to read eventually. Um, I'm just, waiting to get the other books I guess so yeah there's that one the next one here is uh, Violent Ends um, this is by Hutchinson where's the first a first name there is no first name it just says down here a novel and 17 points of view and what this is is um, a boy who goes into a school with a gun and this is the point of view of all the students talking about uh, the phases that this boy went in before the incident happened um, I think the back of it's pretty cool it's just all the names of the students in here or teachers or whoever it was whose ever point of view it is so I figured it'd be interesting to read so I picked that one up that was on our sales rack at uh, <clears throat> the used bookstore so I got it for like two bucks. Um, another one we got here from off, I think it was off the sales rack. I don't remember if it was or not. But this is another little piece by Kate Carius Quinn. I think that's how you say that. Um, and it sounded like it would be a good book. 
because, oh, there's another one, Don't You Forget About Me. I'm not sure if that's book two or book one. I'm not sure, but I thought it was interesting, so I picked that one up. This one I picked up with my grandson in mind. My grandson is in third grade, and he is now reading a sixth grade reading level, and that just makes me the proud Mimi. But anyway, this book I picked up for him, and it's by Jason Segal and Kirsten Miller. It's called Nightmares, and he loves the scary stuff. I, I know he gets that from his family because we all like that stuff. So I got this one for him. Look at the back. This is just really cool. Uh, and I'm hoping at some point he will read it because if he doesn't read it, I certainly will. It's got great illustrations in here. Like, I mean, I love this. Look at that. That's cool. Um, and I think that he will really enjoy it. So um, he just finished one of the Goosebump books that we had gotten him. So, yeah, we picked this one up. We also just found... Uh, Five Nights at Freddy. Is that what it is? Five Nights at Freddy? And he loves that stuff. So I found one of the books at the used bookstore. Of course, he's not going to leave that one here. He took that one home and he started reading it. So, yeah. Okay, here we go again with another pile. This one is called Unremembered by Jessica Brody. And I can remember a friend of mine and I were at the used bookstore and she saw this and she snatched it up. I'm like, hey! So they had it again. Um, I don't think it was the sales rack. I think I just spent the money on it up there because it's half priced used book. So it's half the price of what you would normally pay. Um, so yeah, there's that one. This one is by Jessica Brody. And I found this one at the used bookstore. This was on the sales rack for two bucks, which the sticker is still on there. Um, this is The Whispering Room by Dean Koontz. Dean Koontz is like a hit or miss for me. Uh, there's some that I like, some that I don't. So I'm hoping this is going to be one of them that I do like. Um, like I read 77 Shadow Street, which is the first book of a series, and I did not care for that one at all. Um, most of his other ones, his earlier books, I really enjoyed. I think it's the newer ones that I have an issue with. So this one was... Uh, 2017 so keeping my fingers crossed that I can enjoy this one two bucks next one we got here is The Witness by Nora Roberts I don't normally read Nora Roberts but it sounds like it's gonna be a pretty good mystery so I picked it up again two bucks this book was $19.56 at Walmart somebody took it in there and I get it for two bucks so there's that one and this one that I am super excited about. Well, actually, let's bring this one over here, too. These two that I'm super excited about. One I bought myself and one my sister bought and brought it with her when she came to visit this year. Um, the first one, the one that I got, Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. And um, I've heard a lot about it. I'm hoping... It will be good, but look at that cover. I heard some people didn't like it and some people did. So I guess we'll just have to, I don't know, wait and see. But I want to dig into it. It is a big book because, you know, Stephen King writes those hunkin' big books. So there's that one. And then the one my sister picked up for me because she asked if there's anything that I wanted. And I said, yes, ma'am. The Outsider. Um, I just love this cover. This cover is awesome. So she picked it up. She got 30% off. 40% off because they are a member of Barnes & Noble. Um, so I was really excited to see that they found it and bought it. And I knew they would because like, they asked me. Beautiful gray and black. Uh, this one I think I'm most looking forward to reading. So we'll see. There's that one. How much time we got on there? Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I guess we can do another stack of books. So we've got a stack right here. Okay, so um, 
Let's go with this one. It's Mitch Album. You guys know I like Mitch Album. I've everything that I read by him, I absolutely love. I've got two by him. I'm just not sure where the second one is sitting at. So unless that one's it. Oh yeah, that's the one. Okay, so here's two of them by Mitch Album. The one that I've really, 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 really been wanting to read is The Timekeeper. Um, very simple book to read. Very easy to read. So. This is probably going to be up next after I finish these two books that I'm reading, which I don't know why I'm reading two books. But <laughs> this will probably be up next. I really want to read this one because I think he's an extraordinary writer and he gives you the feels um, every time you read something by him. And then the other one I got by him, which I didn't know existed, was The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto. So... Just look at this cover. It's gorgeous. And he's, his books are always really compact. Even his paperbacks are small. And I love that. I don't know why I love that, but I do. But I saw this one. I'm guessing it was at the used bookstore. Yeah, because there's a price inside there. And I got this for six bucks. So I'm like, uh, yeah, it's Mitch Album. I'm buying it. So there's that one. I just love it. You guys can't. Can you see the stripes on there? Yeah. Beautifully designed. Beautifully designed. What's that cover look like? Oh, blue and purple. Doesn't look so purple on the camera. Looks more burgundy. Okay, the next one I picked up, because I've heard a lot of good things about it, is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline... Or how do you say that? Langle? Yeah, and uh, lots of people have told me that this is a fabulous book. So I picked it up, and I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it soon. Wrinkle in Time. Look at that cover. It's just, it's beautiful. The next one, I was really disappointed that I bought this book because I didn't think that I had it, and that is The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. I do, in fact, have this book. Yes, right here. This is the one that I had on my shelf, and I picked up this. So, um... That was a little disappointing because I did not think I had it. Friends of mine in the Goodreads group were talking about wanting to do a read on I'm like, oh, let's look for it. Well, I had it all along. That was very disappointing. So now I got the paperback. I might just have to take this back and just read my hardback. Yeah. Next we got that I was really excited to read. It's in our new mall, Tanger Mall. Um, and I read like the third or fourth book that I didn't even realize um, that I was that it was part of a series. But the first book is called Monkey Wrench. This is by P.J. Tracy. Um, what was the other one called? Uh, Want to Play? Um, which I picked it up because it sounded like it was going to be really good and then it ends up being like in the middle of the series. So now I got the very first book, which is right here. And... Uh, I got 50% off of this at in this uh, book outlet store in Tanger Mall. And they have a ton of books. Not every single book that you would ever want to see, but they have a lot. And that was one of them. Like, they didn't have any Stephen King or anything like that there. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this one and maybe going in order. Because P.J. Tracy is a really, really good writer. So, if you guys like mystery, check out P.J. Tracy. Next one I got from Dollar General for half off of three dollars is Nicholas Sparks see me um, I've got a ton of Nicholas Sparks books and I've not read them I don't know what's wrong with me everybody goes on about how great he is I just keep collecting the books and not reading them so I really need to read something by Nicholas Sparks so I'm going to work on that that is a goal to read something by Nicholas Sparks and I want this goal reached before the end of the year so I'm keeping that in mind. You guys remind me, read a Nicholas Sparks book. And maybe in a upcoming um, video when I do a TBR, maybe Nicholas Sparks will be on it. So there's that one. Um, these, it just it did my heart good. Because my son-in-law asked me what I wanted for my birthday. Books, of course. And he goes, do you have anything in mind? I said, I do. I want The Queen of the Zombie Hearts by Gina Showalter. Because it was the only one that I did not have. It was on my Kindle. And I read it on my Kindle. I have the other, the, the first two, I have 
in book form. He got it for me. The covers are amazing. Richard is the one that first told me about uh, this series and I read it and fell in love with it and now I gotta read it again because book four. <laughs> this is A Mad Zombie Party by Gina Showalter. This is book number four. I looked it up, I thought, oh, this has just got to be a companion novel or something. No, book four. So I need to read this series over. Again, something I would like to accomplish before the end of the year. So I may have a read-along on this series. If y'all have it, pull your books out. Let's do a read-along on the Alice in Wonderland in Zombie World. Um, it's the White Rabbit Chronicles, I believe is what it's really called. So, yeah, I got these two. I got four of them. I think there's only four right now. I don't know if it's going to go any further, but I really need to do a reread um, on the first two so that I can continue this and go to this one. So, um, I want to go to a mad zombie party. So, there's those two. And for the last two we got here, there is Rage to the uh, Horseman of the Apocalypse. Um, this was book two. This is by Jackie Morse Kessler. I just showed you loss, um, and then there's hunger is the first book, and then there's one more um, to the series. I don't remember what that one was called, but I'll have to have that one too. But I read this book; they're really, really very good for uh, YA post apoc. Um, yeah, so there's that one. And the last one for this one is Just One Day by Gail Foreman. I have Just One Year. I did not have this one. I have not, however, read Just One Year. So, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to read just one year after that. I'm probably just going to read them together. Um, when I was reading all these series, I read the Shadow Me series. I read the Illuminate Files. I read um, uh, Chaos Walking, and I read them all as series. I didn't just, like, skip around a lot. So, I'm going to try to start reading books as series so I don't forget essential parts of the story. So yeah, there we go. Just One Day by Gail Foreman. And that is it, my friends, for this video. And um, I will be back to do another one. So thanks for staying tuned and I'll see you in Book Haul 3. Bye guys.